I come bearing gifts. It's all in order? Every I has been dotted, every T has been crossed. All that stands between you and a closet full of your favorite crewnecks is your signature. If you ever decided to exude even the slightest emotion, now would be an appropriate time. Jason's having a trouble believing that the, the feds would actually release him. Bottom line, they got no choice. There was a built-in oversight into the original plea bargain that makes your conviction null and void. You know, for as many times as I've proposed on screen, you would think I'd have this down cold. Not how you ask. Oh, come on, this is like the worst proposal ever. No build up, no romance. I'll take sweet and sincere any day, and you're both of those things. You know, honey, it's just I, marriage. I hadn't really figured it into my plans. Well, I hadn't figured it either until we started dating. And then I realized how much I looked forward to seeing you and how disappointed I was when I couldn't. And here we are. Um, oh, no. Oh, gosh. What? Well, you know, I just took this new job, and I mean, it's so busy, dizzy. I'm going to be in a different city every week at this new job. And then there's uh, your crazy so schedule. And then, I mean, how would we make a marriage work when we're never even on the same continent and we'll drop out of the movie what are you talking about you can't drop out of that movie for me what are you saying D look I have done harder things to get where I'm at right now look it's a good life but it hasn't come without a price and uh, the only time I am not lonely is when I'm with you which might seem really weird because I'm never actually really Totally <laughs> it's not weird. I'm never but, alone either. But you know all these people that we're surrounded by all the time? They just want a piece of our brilliant lives and if our fame went away, you think they'd still be around? Well, if we were married, then we would always have each other. You are so adorable. <laughs> you are adorable and convincing. Well, is that a yes? Claudia spent the last several months of her life being spit on by Sonny until he finally broke her down. His biggest mistake was not thinking about payback. Look, I'm all for payback, mate, but you can't just kill Sonny and not expect there to be consequences. Sonny wired my car to explode and almost killed his daughter in the process. He then set me up for a hit by the Lopez family and almost killed his son. He's still walking around scot-free. You want to talk about consequences? Where the hell are his? Okay, so what are you going to do? I would take a page out of Sonny's book and frame the Lopez family no, for his death? No, 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 no. See, it's, it's, it's not that complicated. I walk up to Sonny on the street, pull out a gun, and shoot him, claim it was self-defense. After all the attempts he's made on my life, cops will buy it. Hey, Ronnie, you been to the new stadium yet? Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks pretty nice on TV. Mm -hmm. Morgan's been dying to go back. We should take him before the season's over. Yeah, he's been talking about it since Christmas, right? Yeah. The last game's against Boston at the end of September. So. Well, you know, enough of the small talk, okay? A witness saw you at the scene of a drive-by. Hey. You talking about Mrs. Markle? Because mm -hmm. I just spoke to her. She's a nice lady. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she's in her late 70s and wears glasses as thick as a phone book, so we can't really be sure what she saw. Well, she saw well enough to say that a big blonde kid pushed Johnny out of the way, no? And you're assuming it's Michael? Well, how many other big blonde kids run around in Johnny's circle? Wow, that, that's some investigative work there, Ronnie. I mean, completely ignoring the fact that Ethan already made a statement saying he pushed Johnny out of the way. Look, I have no problem putting them both into a lineup and let the lady pick out who she saw. She's not going to swear to anything. The shooting spooked her. She said she's not going to make a, make an official statement, so... All right, so we just reassure her. Mm -hmm. Will the old lady into saying what you wanted to say? Is yeah. that part of the job, too? No, no it's not. We're done with Mrs. Markle. Is that clear? Yeah, a lot of things are real clear right now. Thank you. Yeah, I was just telling the truth. The witness recanted her statement. But listen, if you were there during the shooting, and this is a cover-up, I need him. So how did this happen? Kickflip gone wrong. 
skateboard got out from underneath him. No helmet to cushion the blow. You want to consult? Absolutely. Oh, you see the shadow? There's no telling what kind of neurological deficits we'll run across. You might want to ask Patrick to serve it to you. Ah, Patrick, I was just going to page you. It's going to have to wait. You need to talk to you for a second. Here. What's this? Uh, an apology for whatever it was that I did earlier. Hey, you don't sound sorry. Um, yeah, that's going to have to wait. What is going on over there? Message received. <laughs> what are you talking not about? Not only did you break into my house. Oh, no, no, I came over and I watched Listen the to me. Not only did you break into my house, you cut my wife's face out of our wedding photo. It's sad and it's sick and it has to stop. You know what? Something will. Right? That's for sure. 